is it so wrong to feel refined, to feel cultured, to feel like uh, you're somewhat more healthy than you actually so are? So you're diminishing cereal. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Thomas, what are we doing today? We're doing We Take Requests, Joan. It's been a while since we've done a We Take Requests. Give me the exact length of time it's been since the last We Take Requests. 13 months. And five minutes. You were very close. Shut up, I'm <laughs> if you're unfamiliar with We Take Requests, the object of the game is right there in the title. We reached out to you all on different platforms like Twitter, YouTube, Patreon, asked what you guys wanted to see me and Joan take on. There was a main request. We pulled the patrons out of like some of the requests we got. We were like, these are our favorites. These are what we asked them about. And they overwhelmingly voted for what, Thomas? Incorrect Sander Science quotes. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. So that's what we're gonna do mostly. At Capri Smokas on Twitter asked that we go on Tumblr and find some Sanders Sides incorrect quotes and read them in character. <laughs> LOL. I love you. Hope you have fun with all the requests, Thomas. That's what they say. So incorrect quotes are quotes that seem like they could be said by characters from a specific show or medium, or in this case, Sander Sides, that weren't actually said by those characters or didn't appear in the series in question. We requested a bunch of incorrect quotes from all of you. See, requests go both ways. Well, there's only so many that we can address in one video, so if we didn't get to some, please be rest assured. We're most likely going to return to this at some other video. We've got a you picked out and we're gonna just do them throughout the video look it's simple all you have to say is hi I took a blood test and I wanted my results back got it hello can I help you I want my blood back <laughs> uh... no <laughs> that's literally me <laughs> for the second channel we brought talent in to react to some of these incorrect quotes what happens to nitrogen when the Sun rises it becomes daytrogen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that got me. That got me. I'm going to my room. Good night, Trigen. Sleep tight, Trigen. Don't let the bed bugs bite, Trigen. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it isn't Logan Sanders. But it is me. No, it's... Your manipulative tricks won't work on me. <laughs> Let's go to another request. <laughs> Charlie Caitiff on Patreon said, Look at the 60th page of a book and sing the first sentence. I have a book from Dan and Phil. <laughs> the 60th page is just a letter to Dan Howell from his academic advisor. This is the letter to Dan Howell. <laughs> Sorry, Dan, this is gonna be weird. Dear Mr. Howell, I am writing to acknowledge that you have withdrawn from your LLB law degree with effect from June 6th, 2011. <laughs> Oh my god. I learned something new about Dan, and I tried to do it in the form of the Dear Evan Hansen song. Sincerely me. That was so beautiful, Thomas. Thank I've you. never related to a song more. Okay, I have Moby Dick here by Herman Melville, and I'm going to sing it to the melody of the that one Pinnock at the Disco song. What's it called? God <laughs> Door? Oh, if I had. Been astonished at first, catching a glimpse of so outlandish. An individual, a squeak wag circulating among the polite society, stroll through the streets of New Bedford, New Bedford. <laughs> I have never enjoyed Moby Dick more. That was a whole sentence? That was one sentence. That was what? as long as a Panic at the Disco song title. <laughs> I was so ready for you to make that joke. <laughs> People say I have a unique way of lighting up the room. It's called arson, and those people are witnesses. <laughs> I liked that one a lot. Yeah, I like you a lot. I like that one a lot. And that one is Thomas Sanders. Thanks. What do you Mama? think of that one, Talon? Yes. There it I is. Like <laughs> Thank you, Talon. That was a glowing review. Oh, how much would a trip to Spain cost? It depends where you live. For example, if you live in Spain, it's free. Mmm. No for glass. This one's from Twitter. It's from Aspen J. They say, eat a lemon. Both of you. I dare you. I got my uh -oh. lemon right here. <laughs> this is something that I have asked Kenny to do for a short video. I guess this is karma that I get to do this uh, myself now. I'm just gonna bite into this baby. Oh, don't let the peel. Let me get a knife. So are you are you doing what I'm gonna do? Like where I'm just gonna bite into it? Yeah. Whew. All right. Mm. Mm. How is it? Ugh. It's not great. <laughs> you done? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ha ha ha! I'm a cheater! <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Mmm. I'm eating it like a grapefruit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Does that make it better? I don't know. That's Probably. what I'm banking on. You eating it with like a spoon too? This is better. <laughs> oh, it doesn't seem like it's better. <laughs> Mm. Peel this one like an orange. It's good. I'm used to eating lemons, so... You eat lemons, Talon? Yeah. Impressive. <laughs> I don't understand your guys' reactions yeah. at all. Thank you, Aspen, for that. That was a new experience, and it has further reignited my hatred for lemon starbursts. All right. What would you like your cake to say? Do we want a talking cake? What would you say if one day I came home with uh, six puppies? What's in the box? What's in the box, Patton? Don't I break the spine, no Joan, do you happen to know, if you were a side, which one you would be? Thomas, I know exactly which side I would be. Luckily, there are quizzes that people out there have made to determine which side they would most closely be. Ember on Twitter asked us to take a what Sanders side are you quiz. I wanted to take a quiz that it wouldn't be so clear what the answers were guiding us to because some of them were like, are you more <laughs> anxious or creative? Those are pretty straightforward. I wish we could have taken one of those because I'm gunning for Virgil. That's too bad. Actually, I'm going to go for Pat. You're the person who takes the quizzes trying to get a specific character and I think that's Amazing. So which is your preferred drink? Hot chocolate, coffee hot with cream and sugar. Hot chocolate is what you think Virgil hot would. Hot chocolate, would. yeah, because that's, no, 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 I'm going, going for Patton now. I changed my mind. I'm just gonna answer these honestly for myself. Boo! I wanna know what side I'm most like. Thomas, you're all of the sides. But like, what side am I most like? Thomas, you're a complicated person and I'm a simple person. I just wanna be Patton and nothing else. We Ooh. all want to be Patton, Joan. So you're saying hot chocolate, I'm saying coffee with cream and sugar. Animal that you like best among these choices. Dogs, of course, they're loving and loyal. <laughs> Elephants, octopuses, octopi, an octopus. Octopus. Owls, they're a hoot. Uh, honestly, Ooh. elephants, octopuses, and owls could all be Logan. Yes, that's true, but it, they can't be. Could they? I'm between dogs and elephants, but I like elephants. I'm gonna say elephants. So musicals are great, aren't they? <laughs> Which of these musicals do you like? I like how they're phrasing these questions. Heathers, The Full Monty, The Phantom of the Opera, and Falsettos. The Full Monty, of course, even though I, that's, I haven't seen it. You just know what the end of The Full Monty is, and that's why you like it. No, I, I don't, I don't know what the end of The Full Monty is. Do you know what The Full Monty is? Monty Python? No, no, The Full Monty is when you're a male stripper, when you go the full Monty, that means like you take everything off. All Ooh. underwear, everything. Then a musical is about like these older men that are like trying to raise money. They do it by saying they're gonna go the full Monty. Sean said, I love that you thought the full Monty would be Patton. <laughs> <laughs> you selected the full Monty trying to get Patton? I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Actually, Joan, there is a song from The Full Monty I think is a perfect song for Patton because it's about a dad's love for his kid. That's why I picked it. Are you on question four? Yeah, I'm on question four. It's pumpkin pie. I would say the colors, and I'm from Florida, so I don't even get to experience the fall colors. Question five, oh. which of these anime would you watch? Food Wars, me and you live streamed at one point with Talon, I think. Yeah, it's like really sexual about the food. Mm -hmm. Oh, I pushed that out of my memory, I guess. The food looked amazing. Someone makes like a chicken tikka masala. Everyone's like, ah, and the clothes fly off and stuff. Oh. <laughs> it's, it is. It's like that. So I'm selecting Full Metal Alchemist because I'm familiar with that. I'm going with Food Wars because my new headcanon is that Patton's kind of sexy. <laughs> I'd say he definitely <laughs> loves food. That's true, but not war. Do you think that anyone before sex put on a pair of sunglasses and said, hang on tight. It's gonna be a humpy ride. <laughs> My face journey through that whole thing, something to be gift. I'm on question six now. Which is your preferred method of exercise? My favorite uh, method of exercise is running, so I'm gonna select running. I don't know which of these is Patton. I'm gonna do running on a treadmill. Question seven. It's late at night and you can't sleep. What are you doing at this moment? Well, I would probably be saying watching TV because that's exactly what I do. Pick a tree, any tree. I'm gonna say a willow. I've loved willow trees. I'm 
picking mm -hmm. an ash tree because it looks like a tree that would have a tire swing on it. There's a toy box in front of you. Which toy do you pick out first? Ooh, like the avatar test. Stuffed animal. I'm going to pick out the building blocks. And then question 10, how do you brush your teeth? I guess it would be the little circles motion. I went the bristles first. That's true. Yeah, uh, multiple of these apply to me. Okay, well, that's good. It's like I'm Virgil. God oh, it. I'm Virgil too. <laughs> that's bullshit. I was patent. We both wound up at Virgil, AKA anxiety. You're always ready to fight, but you hate confrontation. Well, I'm not always ready to fight. I don't hate confrontation. Yeah, you don't hate confrontation. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You're compassionate, but you're selfish. True. You're soft-spoken, but you're brash. This is like an Alanis Morissette song. You're compassionate, but selfish. You're soft-spoken, but you're brash. Holy wow, you're a total contradiction of yourself. True. Hey, are you busy? And writing Star Trek fan fiction does not count. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I finished it last week. What's going on? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be using a straw. I know. It's bad for the environment or whatever. No, it's just a weird way to eat spaghetti. <laughs> I just love the idea of Remus just being <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the next requests, we've got both of you create a haiku about climate change. So I thought that was this was very interesting. Joan, you and I are pretty passionate about climate change, yes. correct? This was my attempt at a haiku for climate change. Ready? Hey, big companies, do you like want a future? Believe science, jerks! <laughs> Alright, ready Thomas? Sit back. I'm okay. Bracing Since myself. I, I hope you're, I hope you are sitting. Global warming, dude. This shit's getting serious. I'm stay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Laughing through the fear is an important process to this. I'm stay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was good though. That's totally valid. Cause oh, that yeah. totally emphasizes your true feelings there. <laughs> I love sleepovers. This isn't a sleepover. You're in the hospital. Wait, then why I... do I have this nightgown? That's a hospital gown. Truth or dare? Dare. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that Janice like, gets into it a little bit. Like he's like, dare. <laughs> <laughs> He also made the point that it, that he wouldn't pick truth. Yeah, I right. thought that was really funny. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this. Kaya or Chaya says on Patreon, mind meld. Basically, if you guys aren't familiar with the game, we're going to count down and say a random word each. And then we have to try and come up with something that is the commonality between the two random words. And then we count down again. And then hopefully we say the same thing at the same time. That's the goal. If we don't, then those two different words become the new words we got to find the commonality for. So you ready, Joan? Let's do this. I'm so f***ing ready. Three, two, one. Board game. <laughs> the board game and octopus. I got one. Okay. I guess I got one. Three, two, one. Battleship. Eight. <laughs> eight? I don't know, I was thinking eight tentacles, eight players. Age is eight and up. All right, so we've got eight and battleship. Okay, okay, I got an awesome one. I do not have what you have. Three, two, one. Squid. Sea monster. Oh gosh, we were close. Oh, I got one, I got one. Oh, I got one. Three, two, one. One. Cthulhu. Oh, that was Damn the one I was gonna do! It. Gosh, I'm so mad. Can I just go back and say what I originally was gonna say, which was crap? No, you can't. We have to keep going now. I've got one. You've got one? Three, two, two. one. Ocean. Kaiju. Huh? Kaiju. It's it's the word for giant monster. Sorry, that one slipped my mind for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ocean kaiju. Ocean kaiju. Easy. I got it. Three, two, one. One. Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, we did, did it. it. We got Ouch. it there eventually. <laughs> that was not easy, but I like the journey we went. It's a little muggy out today. <laughs> I swear to God, if I go outside and all our mugs are on the lawn, I'm leaving. Is that a chocolate? This one's from the Blue Recluse on Patreon, and they ask, what's the most out of character thing each side would say? Which is very interesting. So we can talk through this, because we didn't really have like anything set up in regards to what each character would say, right? Let's start with Patton. Patton. You would say 
<laughs> it would be it would be anything that has a curse word in it. So anything that Remus might say, that's what Patton would not say. What should Virgil say? Virgil says, I like pancakes with marshmallows on top. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, so anything Patton might say, Virgil would not say. I'm realizing that there's just a lot of opposites here. Mm -hmm. Roman is a toughie. What would be the opposite Roman? Oh, Disney sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Roman's most out of character thing you could say is Lilo from Lilo and Stitch is a brat. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I love Lilo. What about Logan? Logan would say, I like pancakes and sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I like pancakes and marshmallows on top. Stop making me <laughs> Talon, you had a good one. What did you just say? I said he wouldn't say anything that Trump would say. Mm. That's a good one. That's a good one. Janice. What's a good one for Janice? Gosh. I like pancakes and marshmallows. Perfect. Moving on. Remus would be like, hey guys, could you just all like chill? Just chill out a little bit. Let's be respectful. <laughs> that would be great if Remus walked in with like a like in a robe with a pair of glasses. Like, hey guys, could you keep it down, please? Could you keep it down? I'm trying to sing all of Moby Dick. If you could. Just... <laughs> that was a fun little exercise. So thank you for that question, Blue Recluse. Do you have any shaving cream? No, I don't like the way that it tastes. Would you eat shaving cream? No. Why would I eat it if I don't like the way that it tastes? <laughs> oh gosh, I love these. These <laughs> we gotta do more of these. Caitlin Riggins over on YouTube requested uh, a mini debate over the most stupid and random thing ever between myself and Joan. I can totally argue that cereal is a soup. Okay, no it's not. Here's the reason why cereal is a soup, Joan. Oh God, this again. There are cold soups. We call them fishy swa, and it's basically just cold soup. Is that what you call cereal? Are you like, hey, can you get me a bowl of vicious swamp? Yes, yeah, sometimes I do. I'm like, I need myself a refined breakfast. Here's the thing. If you go to a restaurant and you say, can I have some breakfast soup? They're not going to know what the f*** you're talking about. Yes, they will. They will because no, they I've won't. gone in there and I've asked them multiple times and now they know me. Yeah, they're going to be like this weird son of a again. He's asking for soup. Just know he means cereal. Is it so wrong to feel refined, to feel cultured? To feel like uh, you're somewhat more healthy than you so actually are. So you're diminishing are. cereal. That feels a little classist. Yes, well, no, because <laughs> soup should be for all. You said soup is bougie and cereal is booty. And bougie should be for all, not just the bourgeoisie. It should also be for bourgeois me. Oh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you for proving my point. I did prove Cereal is not soup. If you had soup with crunchy in it, you'd be like, take this back. Something is wrong with my soup. I would say thank you. Thank you for refining my palate and working out my gums because for the life of me, I can't stand when I don't have a challenge. You chew with your gums? I chew with my whole mouth. I chew with my soul, Talon. I chew with my hole, my food hole, because I'm a normal person. Yes, and you call it a food hole. So what's wrong with me calling cereal a bowl of soup? Well, let's leave this one to the commenters. Who won the debate? <laughs> let's start a poll. We're going to start a poll. It's a white flag, Roman, and you may as well start waving it. The only thing I will be waving is your decapitated head on a stick in front of your weeping mother. Lord. This one is from Tamara Coy from Patreon and it says, say two things you love about yourself. Ooh. Tamara, no. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> well, I do like my singing voice, so I'm gonna say my singing voice is one of them. Joan, you say one now. <laughs> Um, I love my big tushy. Yeah! <laughs> just kidding. No, no, just, kid, just kidding. Um, I love that I feel like even as hard as I am on myself, I at least have a decent enough relationship with the creative part of myself that I can enjoy what I make. Whether I think the final product is actually good or not, I still am able to find it in myself to be critical, but also to enjoy what I do. I'm glad that you get to enjoy what you create. Yeah, no, for the second one, I'll choose my butt. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, moving on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> hey, can you grab us a table? Sure. Start the car! <laughs> Emily's asking, grab an item close to you and describe it like an alien who has never seen it. My problem is I don't know how alien is my understanding of rules of earth. Do I know colors? Do I know this material? Okay, I got it, I got it. That was great. Okay. Somehow that was offensive. 
<laughs> That's an alien describing this. I've got this. It's a thing for a magical box. You press boop, 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 and it makes Oops. people on the screen do things based off of how you manipulate this magic shape. I don't know what shape this might be. <laughs> I feel like you're, this is a person from medieval times. Yes, yeah. it's magical. <laughs> be like, what is this primitive device? I guess I'm operating from a standpoint that they don't know anything, but if I'm meeting an alien, they most likely have gotten here. Do you take constructive criticism? <laughs> oh. Yeah, what's up? Oh. This one uh, is from Palvir Sahota. Apologies if I mispronounced that. And it says, compliment war. Joan, I love your sense of humor. Thomas, you're so f Talented. Joan, you make me feel much less alone. Thomas, you're a handsome man. You're a good-looking guy. Stop it. Joan, I am constantly impressed by your mind. Thomas, you're really funny. Joan, you're way funnier than me. <laughs> That's not true. And you are also very smart and good at math. Joan, even though it's not your duty, mm -hmm. you are almost oh, like goodness. my mini therapist sometimes, and you help me come to conclusions way faster than I ever would in my entire life. This man called me mini in a compliment war. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fair to say I won that compliment war moving on. Thomas, you're a great singer, you're a great actor, moving on, great. Here's the ultimate compliment, Thomas. Some of your worst qualities are also some of your best qualities. Oh, that's a lot to unpack. I guess the simplest way to put it is if I were to objectively rate you as a person, I would have to weigh some of the cons to you as a person because they have positive equivalents. Like, you can be quite sensitive, but that's also a really valuable trait because it means that you're very sensitive to the feelings of others and sometimes you're exactly who someone needs to talk to whenever someone is feeling really down. Yeah, you did win that compliment war. <laughs> I really appreciate that, so thank you. Mm. Mm. I like Eminem. I prefer Skittles. No, I meant the wrapper. You eat the wrapper? <laughs> And we're on one of the last requests here on this page. It's from Hannah Hemingway from YouTube. She says, drink a glass of water. It's important to stay hydrated. Well, Hannah, you're absolutely right. And I did more than just set up a glass of water because I think it is important to stay hydrated. Oh, Joan, you ready for this? Cheers. Cheers. Here we are. Let's bring it off. Oh, let's it. Uh, I'm not gonna drink this whole thing. No, drink, drink it, drink it all. You need to be hydrated. <laughs> Throwback to the Sanderson's episode, why do we get out of bed in the morning? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why are you drinking out of a blender? Is this the biggest container that I have? I got I got a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I I freaking I drank it all. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Hey kiddos, did you know a group of fish is called a family? Yeah, and a group of lions is called a pride. A group of crows is called a murder. And a group of people is called a migraine. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of We Take Requests. Joan, thank you so much for joining me. Yes, you did? I enjoyed it so much. I feel so good inside. Look at me. Fantastic. Thank you to Talon for joining us as well. I appreciate it. <laughs> Let's check back in on that poll we set up earlier. We have 364 votes saying, yes, cereal is soup. So, I guess I won. That's f***ing bullshit. Thank you all so much for joining. And until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out. Peace out. Perfect. And Sean, you're just going to edit both peace outs at the same time. And, and then Sean, include Thomas saying, don't have us go at the same time, and then include Thomas saying that. <laughs> there you go. And then include me saying that. That's what happened.